crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. Owner had to evict somebody, and man, they tore it up a little bit, okay? As you see from the footage, it, it's rough, it's gross, it's grimy, okay? You're probably looking at like 10-ish or so uh, to put this thing back together, possibly 15. Uh, they, they, oh, man, they, ooh, it's ugly in there, okay, man? They tore it up, okay? What I recommend after getting that unit totally uh, cleared out, looking good again, I recommend going with Section 8 tenants, okay? What do you think this is supposed to be a scarf? Oh, wait, it's actually like a lot of stuff. Oh, yes, that's the one. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. The Clark Fulton neighborhood, y'all, or as I like to call it, the Metro Health neighborhood. That's where we're going to be today in Cleveland, right? 3282 West 48th, all right? This is a duplex coming to you guys at an incredibly low price, 72000 And that's a ridiculously low price, especially considering the fact that this property is actually already lead certified, right? We got this thing, well, the owner got this thing uh, lead certified probably like a uh, little over a year ago, okay? And in Cleveland, that is a very, very big deal. If a lot of you guys out there are like, what the heck is this guy talking about lead certifications? I don't know what that is. There are relatively new laws in Cleveland that all landlords need to abide by. You you got to get your properties lead certified. More information on the lead certification process is in the notes below. Pay attention. Even if you don't want to buy this property, y'all, you're going to need to know about those lead certifications. That is a big thing in the city of Cleveland. Anybody invested in Cleveland needs to understand those laws, okay? That's definitely going to impact how you are as an investor. Now, this property already lead certified, one tenant paying a little bit under market rent. They're paying seven seven or seven fifty five. Uh, realistically, when their lease expires, um, you could probably bump that up, right? Market rent eight seventy five. The property uh, looks pretty good in regards to like their unit, but the other unit, okay. Owner had to evict somebody, and man, they tore it up a little bit, okay? As you see from the footage, it, it's rough, it's gross, it's grimy, okay? You're probably looking at like 10-ish or so uh, to put this thing back together, possibly 15. Uh, they, they, oh, man. They, ooh, it's ugly in there, okay, man? They tore it up, okay? What I recommend after getting that unit totally uh, cleared out looking good again, I recommend going with Section 8 tenants, okay? Section 8 tenants, in my opinion, are going to be the best type of tenant you can get in this neighborhood right now, okay? But that's going to change down the road, in my opinion, okay? Because, like I said, I started the show off talking about Clark Fulton Metro Health. The neighborhood is called the Clark Fulton area. I call it the Metro Health area because Metro Health uh, Medical Campus is over there, and they are they're going to affect what happens to you as an investor, okay? You see, they're committing over $40 billion. Be like boy, not M like millionaire. Be like boy. Be like billionaire. Billionaire Boys Club or some shit, okay? They're pumping a ton of money into this particular neighborhood, their campus, the whole thing. So right now, in my opinion, based on the level of risk of this neighborhood, I think Section 8 tenants are going to be like your most stable way to collect rent and keep tenants uh, in there for longer because typically Section 8 tenants in this area are going to stay longer than your cash paying tenants. And then obviously your ability to collect rent is much more consistent. But that could potentially change one day because if you take an area like this, low prices, a little bit high risk, and then you inject friggin' $40 billion into it, not to mention just to the north border in this general area, you have other gentrified neighborhoods, Ohio City, Tremont, stuff like that. I think this is going to be the next uh, prime gentrification target. So one day, you know, you might not have a target audience of Section 8 tenants. You might have a target audience of yuppies with college degrees and six-figure salaries okay but that is not the case right now but that's why i like the clark fulton neighborhood so much that's why i call it the metro health neighborhood because it's allows section a investors like me section a investors like you to get in now get in low collect some consistent government subsidized cash flow while we wait for that appreciation tra uh, train to catch up to us right so all in all you just got to go in 
clean up the mess from the eviction, slap a Section 8 tenant in there, and then sit on this bad boy, and that appreciation, in my opinion, is going to happen. You're going to see some major gentrification to this area. It only makes sense. $40 billion coming in. It's already bordering neighborhoods that have already seen the most gentrification in Cleveland. Because of that, I think this investment is a solid deal. If you guys want to make an offer on it, you can submit that to my team, sales at HoltonWeiss.com. Going to need cash offers because it comes to you just like you see it. So it's all type of booty up in that vacant unit. Uh, no conventional financed offers will be accepted. However, after you renovate that unit, good candidate for the Burr strategy. And if you need investors to refi your money back out so you can use it on the next one and the next one and the next one, we have those lenders for you. We got investor lenders who loan to investors like you in all 50 states, right? So if you're new and you want to get into an out-of-state Burr deal, uh, this could be a good opportunity for you. And uh, if you're not out-of-state, if you're local and you'd like to actually tour this nasty-ass unit prior to putting in your offer, that's great, man. I want you to get up in there. I want you to smell the aroma. I want you to, you know, really feel the nastiness. That's totally fine with me, man. It's all about doing your due diligence. If you want to do that, just hit us up. You hit us up before 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We'll get you in there same day. If not, if it's after 5 o'clock, we'll get you in there the next business day. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to uncover all the windows. You got gloves on, right? Yeah. Okay, good, because that's the only reason I didn't do it. It looked like there was a lot of rope shit on them. I know she left her ID. I was about to pick it up. You see under by your left foot there on the inside? Do you see that nice little weed pen they left? Oh, this thing? Yep. Yeah. This is a cheap internet one. It's a head pen. Not that I would know anything about that. No, that's just that thing I heard about. That's the thing I heard about on the internet. Ew. I know, that flytrap did the Lord's work for God only knows how long. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I put it on this one so that I can forget about it and back into it. What do you think this place sounds like at night? Do you think the rats just have a fucking party when there's no one around? Probably. They come in here and just start trying on all of our clothes and like have little fashion shows. Ooh. Eat garbage. They definitely been eating that McNugget box for a while. <laughs> they had to get their way in. They got uh, some poopy stained undies. Hell yeah, dude. That's what happened. Right as I said that, we stopped filming. Look at those nice shit-stained fancy underwear. If you're a pervert on the internet, I'll sell those to you for ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks for fully saturated underwear. What do you think this is it's supposed to be a scarf? Oh wait, it's actually like a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's like this lady crochet. Not very good. Her shit's fucking tangled. Stupid, <laughs> stupid idiot. Shit don't even work. this guy made a scarf. I love it when they do these and then is it another caramel vanilla cream? Yeah. Dude, the, rent, the fucking tenants, they love that caramel vanilla cream, dude. Some fake uh, jewelry here. Oh. Take to the jewelry store. Hell yeah, I get a couple nickels. Oh, I didn't see this. You uncovered a treasure. Box of fake nails. That's what's up. Got my new bag. Oh, that's cool. Like an iPhone stand thingy with a iPad shuffle on it. Anything in that? Got oh. a bag. Hold on. You missed the twirl. I'll do you it again. Do it again. Take two. Got a new bag. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's the one. And this one's just a my face. Nice scene. Nice scene. Um, I don't know. Well, I guess 
Something though. Something. A couple people shooting guns at each other at the beach. It's crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.